Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask NK and today we're taking a look at B for Artist. You may or may not have heard about this fucked version of Blender which is actually targeted towards creating Blender's user interface and performance for the artist contrary to what most people believe is for the developers. Now there is a whole lot of stuff that they've been working on recently and it's pretty cool to see that version 2 has finally been released and announced. Now the very first thing which I would like to clear out is the B4 Artist is a simple version of Blender that has been made. Now if you're trying to get into Blender and you simply find Blender user interface a bit intimidating, you may probably want to start up with this and get your feet wet before you jump right into Blender. Now the cool thing here is that they've released a version 2 and this comes with a couple of updates and box fixes and then there is also a whole lot of features that you may want to see now every single thing that you can do in blender you can literally do them here the only difference is the mode at which you work and we're just going to take a look at most of these things right now and simply weigh them against each other and right now i'm just going to go through and open up the b for artists now the main idea for these two is to be exactly blender but customized for artists all right now the very first thing which you would notice within the interface is the interface looks way more way more you know uh accepting to a point compared to what you get with your default blender now if you're coming to blender for the very first time you may need one or two guides to get things going but once you simply open the b for artists you would literally know that there is a couple of things that you can lay your hands on uh you would notice that the ui is way more oriented for persons that are just trying to get into 3d i would start off by saying that once you take a look at what you have here let's actually put this side by side so that we can see simply you know take a look at these two apps individually you would notice from your default blender you, there is you know literally nothing going on here if you expand this you notice that this space has no use from here you can notice that you have a quick menu which you can simply use and i am you know a huge fan for this one and from this point you would also notice that you have a couple of two sections that you can also simply play with so if you want to get information on objects that you have right here and by the way to create objects all you need to do is just simply click a button or you can also see the properties that this object contains another thing which i also love about this is the way that they have gone through to stack up the things you can work with so they are trying to work in a much more minimalistic form and you know limit the amount of shortcuts that you might want to work with so for example while working in blender you might always you know hit the shift and a to get things going and this right now has been changed as you only need to click right here and a couple of more features you would notice is this so right here you would notice that you have some very quick menu or you know quick buttons that you can use to snap to different points now this may or may not be you know something i would like to work with as there is already this stuff right here that you can also find in blender now there's also something else that i typically like that they've taken and gotten rid of so if i press delete and take out that and also come through press delete and take this out you would notice that if i simply go back to blender right here i have an extra menu or an extra button that i literally have no idea why we have this going on of course i've actually you know not bothered about this but by simply using this for a very short time i have noticed that that actually doesn't need to be there as you literally have no need to have this one going on here so this has to do with the workspace which has to do with the add-ons that you have and how you want to get those things going and we already know that once you press n on your keyboard you can still access that right here now what the guys from B4 artists have done is they've gotten rid of that and simply placed this here. Another thing that might just be sounding a little bit boring for me right now is of course i like the idea about having some colors for the menus but i think that some of the shades for the colors are a little bit too much of course this might just simply be my own personal preference and now from the release note there's a configurable toolbar with icon buttons this is also something that i really wish that we have in vanilla blender that we don't have all right now if you take a look at here you would notice we have navigation so i'm just going to simply throw in a very simple object right here so you notice we have navigation which doesn't exist in your default blender in any way form or shape 
so they've claimed to have made a configurable you know toolbar and also a menu setting and this is pretty cool because right now you can simply click right here right click over to this go over to the menu which you want to keep within the quick section within the quick menu right click and just simply send these over to the quick favorite so right now if you click you'll be able to see that if you also go over to the object and maybe you want to specify an object you can also right click and also choose to keep that within the quick menu now some of these things will make a lot of sense if they can come over to the vanilla blender and let's say for example i want to simply add shortcuts to any of the tools that i'm working with all you need to do is go over to the relevant menu that you want for example we'll go over to light i want to get a shortcut for the area light i can right click and assign a shortcut so let's say for this shortcut i want this to be Control shift and a i can get that going and simply like this you can start assigning shortcuts across the objects that you want to work on and some very novelty shortcuts that are here right now is by default in most 3d apps once you press w on your keyboard you switch over to the move e on your keyboard switch over to rotate and r switch over to scale and this is something that have been implemented right here contrary to what we have in blender with you hitting g for example switching over to s and then to r for rotate so i think if you're working or if you're trying to get into blender you may want to simply you know test out these ones play with them and see how you can get this going for yourself and with this done let's talk about some other stuff right here you would notice there is nothing that has to do with sculpting if you want to switch over to sculpting you can switch from this point or you can simply click right here and add that over to what you want to work with so i could simply go over to sculpting and just simply click right here to have sculpting and for the sculpting side you notice you have most of the very recent sculpting tool set that has been announced by pablo and also the has been implemented in blender and this comes as no surprise as the blender for artists or b for artists actually has its core as 2.83 so in case you're wondering how is it possible that version 2 does have all of the cool features coming over to blender 2.83 yes this is the core and that makes a lot of sense and some of the implementations that i do like comes around the shading so if you click right here and you know go over to the shading if i go over to the input section i have a lot of stuff that i can simply start working with so like for example if i want to use a simple add node i can just simply click that right here and get that out if i want to get a new principal shader i can click that right here and get this out if i want to do some modification want to throw in some attributes you know some stuff like that if that is a simple relation that i want to go ahead and start making i can simply click and get some stuff going you can also activate the node wrangler as you can just simply click right here to get that setup going for you so with something like this it's pretty easy for you to go through and start working with blender and you know start getting some very interesting stuff going of course the whole idea of this tool is to get blender to the artist and you know make them not think about some technicalities that consist of shortcuts and i do wish that the guys from blender foundation can implement some of the features that exist from here into the default vanilla blender that we have so example are things that has to do with the quick menu if we can have something like that you can simply you know assign things to a quick menu and also have a tiny button right here which you can use to remove and add things directly within the status and also the property bar that would be a very welcome development so some of the features that i love about this one is like the camera so for example if you're working in blender by default like this and you switch over so there's just jump right back here press tab to get rid of that and simply add a bit of subdivision so if i just go through and add up a simple subdivision and subdivision and press you know zero on my keyboard if i try to rotate around this you notice i jump out of the camera now the only way which i have known except maybe there's something else the only way which i've known that you can get this locked is if you simply come through and lock the camera and then you'll be able to you know a bit around this this is not the case with the b for artists so what they've done is once you switch over to the camera right here so if i just simply tap out i can you know jump right back into the camera and once i'm reading the camera right now i will be able to rotate across this object without even thinking about locking the camera right here so if i just simply you know open all of these things you will notice by default the camera stays locked and nonetheless with either this tool or the vanilla blender blender has come a long way and we've actually seen and talked about so many incredible features that is now available in blender and of course if you want to check out 
any of these things that we've talked about that consist of you know the new object that has to do with working with volumes vdb or even looking at some sculpting tool sets that we've talked about that has to do with clots and faces you can go through to the link in the description and see how that one works and also talking about some very cool improvement that is now available in blender the UDIMS is just something I have no words for and I'm just very excited to see that this one is right here and anyone who wants to actually get going with that can simply take a look at a couple of videos that we've done about that and get that going. And that's about it. Tell me what you guys think about this in the comment section and of course if you like this video or you learned something from this you can go ahead and give it a like and don't forget to share with a friend and if you're new here it's going to be amazing for you to hit the subscribe button and also turn on notifications so that you don't miss the next video or the next update. And until I see you guys again with a tutorial update, free Friday, tutorial Tuesday, tips and tricks, things like this. Peace.